now the term magic realism is also known as magical realism and also marvelous realism it's a 20th century style of fiction and a literary genre now there are two important words one is magic that other is realism realism or the realistic novels or realism in literature you know the purpose of realism is to give a faithful depiction of society now the literary fiction style magic realism paints a realistic picture of the modern world realistic picture of the modern world i think i have covered this word realism then how does magic realist uh paint a realistic view of the modern world by adding magical elements so the term magic realism has two words magic and realism when you say magic realism it means magic realist paints a realistic view of the modern world while also adding some magical elements they try to blur the lines blur the lines between fantasy and reality now uh despite you know including certain magic elements it is considered to be a different genre from fantasy because magical realism uses a substantial amount of realistic detail and employs magical elements to make a point about reality while you know fantasy stories are often separated from reality separated from reality so magical realism is often seen in simple words amalgamation of real and magical elements so if we have amalgamation or the blending or mixing of real and magical elements we have magic realism now the term magic realism was first used by uh, a german critic franz ro uh, such kind of questions are generally asked in competitive examinations which conduct uh, objective uh, type uh, uh, examinations so it was used by german critic franz ro in the year 1925 he used the term to describe a new objectivity he used this term uh, to describe new objectivity a style of painting that was popular in germany at the time that was an alternative to the romanticism of expressionism ro used this term 
to emphasize how magical fantastic and strange normal obje- objects can appear in the real world when you stop and look at them this was actually uh, the concept of the ro who emphasized that the normal objects will look fantastic and strange when you stop and look at them in the year 1955 uh, a literary critic named angel floods he coined the word magical realism and this kind of movement gained popularity in 1950s in latin america now there are certain characteristics of uh magic realism so let us now uh discuss the characteristics or the features of magic realism i did told you in the beginning that realistic setting is one of the uh, most important characteristics all uh, magical realism novels they take place in this world that is familiar to the readers magical or fantastical elements now as i explained in the very beginning that such kind of novels have the amalgamation of the blend of magic and reality so we have the realistic setting and we have the magical or the fantastical elements like talking objects to the dead characters use of uh, telepathy uh, magical uh, realism story has fantastical elements that do not occur in the world however they are presented as normal you know within the novel next is limited information limited information magical and realism authors they deliberately leave the magic in their stories and they leave it unexplained in order to normalize it as much as possible and reinforce that it is a part of everyday life you can call it you know uh, authorial reticence this is authorial reticence what is this authorial reticence it is the deliberate uh, withholding of information and explanations about the disconcerting fictitious world the, the narrator is indifferent a characteristic enhanced by the absence of explanation of fantastic elements the story proceeds with logical you know uh, precision as if nothing extraordinary had taken place magical elements are presented as ordinary you know occurrences and therefore the reader accepts the marvelous as uh, you know very normal and common next feature is critique now authors often use uh, this device this technique to offer an implicit critique of society most notably politics and elite class they use it to criticize uh as i told you in the beginning that the zoner grew in popularity in parts of the world like latin america 
that were economically oppressed and exploited by western countries magic realist writers used this genre to express their distaste and critique american imperialism another important feature is unique plot structure unique plot structure magic you know uh, realism does not follow a typical narrative with a proper clear you know uh, beginning middle and end like other literary genres now we have a back forth and you know moving forward plot this makes for a more intense reading experience as the reader does not know when the plot will advance or when the conflict will take place this happens in you know uh, most of the novels you see when you are going to explain you know any term then i think uh, unless and until you give examples you will not be able to explain that point very well so i have explained you the term and now i am going to give you certain examples of uh magic uh realistic novels the which are the magic uh realistic novels now the first example which i would like to take is and which i think the name of the author uh, is known to you and he is gabriel very famous writer gabriel garcia marquez a colombian novelist colombian novelist short story writer journalist <laughs> very affectionately is given another name and that is gabo or you know gabito we have these you know questions in the examination he was known as gabo or gabito in latin america now this uh, writer he was considered one of the most significant authors of 20th century particularly in spanish language he was awarded 1982 nobel prize in literature that is very important and this question also sometimes in examination he wrote a work called 100 years of solitude this is an important work of magic realism if you read it then find out how fantastic elements are used by the writer here coming to next novel which is also taken as example of magic realism i think you're familiar with this novel midnight's children by salman rushdi this novel midnight children if you have not read this novel i suggest you to go though, though it's bulky one but read it this novel portrays india's transition from british colonial rule to independence and the partition of india so we have pre independence setting 
independence and then the partition and it is a part of magic realist literature the story is told by its chief uh, protagonist salim sinai and is set in the context of actual historical events mixing of you know history and fiction fact and fiction this novel received you know booker prize as you know and it was also awarded the booker of bookers prize so in this novel rosdi used uh, the you know technique of magic realism he fuses fantasy and fiction in indian background salim has the magical powers of you know uh, smell and telepathy if you uh, read this novel then find out that the central character salim sinai has the extraordinary power of smell and the telepathy not only uh, salim but the other characters who were the midnight children they had also some you know magical powers and this gives the readers an insight into the psychological and mental states of the people in the post colonial era the third important novel which i would like to quote is the house of the spirits by isabel lnd a chilean writer a chilean writer chile is actually a country in uh, 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 in the western part of south america and lnd has been called the world's most widely read spanish language author uh <laughs> in the year 2014 he received presidential medal of freedom by president barack obama uh this you know the house of spirits uh is a multi generational story about a woman with paranormal powers and a connection to the spirit world so you'll find out you know these uh, elements there one more example i would like to give you and that is beloved by tony morrison an african american novelist very significant writer who received the nobel prize also i think she's the first black woman who received nobel prize now the novel beloved uh which was published in 1987 was set after the american civil war and it tells the story of a family of former slaves whose home is haunted by a spirit so we have actually the presence of a spirit in uh, the novel the novel which was you know inspired by an actual you know uh, event and here the novelist has beautifully mixed magic and reality fantasy and reality so uh, magic realism which uh, gained uh, its popularity after 1950 is a style of fiction and a literary genre where the writer tries to mix magical and supernatural with the real world incidents thank you very much